And to talk about this, we have our reporter Xi Si here in the studio. Well, Si Si, some say the Chinese are just the biggest spenders because they have a fat wallet. Is this true? Well, according to the World Tourism Organization, the number of overseas tours made by Chinese will surge from 70 million last year to 100 million by the end of the decade, from just 5 million 15 years ago. China's travelers spent over 50 billion U.S. dollars abroad in 2010 and over 70 billion last year, compared with 84 billion for Germans and 79 billion dollars by Americans in 2010. Officials said the first the first five months of this year saw a 20% increase in Chinese tourists leaving the country, so destinations are keen to woo Chinese travelers. Figures suggest that the average Chinese tourist spends more than $1,000 per visit. That's a lot. The Chinese Tourism Academic shows that some spend $16,000 on shopping alone. According to Global Blue, a shopping tourism company, 20% of all tax-free shopping is done by Chinese customers. So that explains why European countries are eager for Chinese tourists, especially at the time of the economic bloom. Well, so, so as you said, the Chinese tourists are now being wooed all the way to Europe. So what are the European countries doing uh, to allure them uh, to their countries? Mm, well, Scenic spots where Chinese tourists love to go are basically connected to Chinese culture and history. Take Montage, a small town 60 kilometers south of Paris, is now hot on the tourist list because former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping used to live there in the 1920s. Chinese history books also say it was in a leafy montage park that the young Chinese students set out in a letter to Mao Zedong their first ideas for a Chinese Communist Party. Like the French have made it a must-see stop. To cater to Chinese tourist tastes, some French restaurants have created a special menu replacing red meat with duck because Chinese tourists were shuddered at the sight of the blood from rare cooking. In a word, the French are really working hard on attracting Chinese tourists, while the Schengen European visa allows people to visit any countries within the Europe on a single visa, except for the UK. But that doesn't mean that UK doesn't want any Chinese tourists. As an official from the British Chambers of Commerce said, China is a fast-growing trading partner for Britain, so we need to do our utmost to welcome both tourists and business visitors from the world's largest country. That's why the UK has then launched an argument about simplifying the costly visa regime that deters potential visitors.